It's 11.04. Mm -hmm. I got here about uh, four minutes ago. Yeah. And um, I haven't gotten any phone calls. Um, I kind of spent the morning and the evening last night thinking about those that um, that don't really feel like they have to enforce the laws. <laughs> Now, yesterday I downloaded some information about uh, terrorism and extremism. And I really spent some time thinking about you and law enforcement. What do I do as an American citizen when I inform law enforcement of a crime and they refuse to enforce the laws? What, what do I do? Now, it looks like you don't like hearing about lawsuits. You don't like the idea of going to prison. And your thought is, well, we don't have to enforce the laws because we are in control and no one's going to tell us that what we're doing is against the law. As a citizen, <laughs> I thought about the two million emails and the well, approximately 13,000 videos, and <laughs> I resigned myself that we're going to spend the next couple of years together, and I am going to completely beat the shit right now. We're going to spend a few years together because you do not accept responsibility for the violating of the laws. Now, you had this plan that you would not actually acknowledge the laws of the United States. I spent the last three years emailing law enforcement that my civil rights are being violated. And instead of acknowledging the requirements of the law, you decided that you would say that I was mentally ill or mentally defective for recognizing that the civil rights that you refused to enforce will never be enforced because you're in the sheriff's department. Now, uh, let's start again, okay? And we'll just spend the next couple of years, and I'll just keep sending you emails, and then I'll add some more email addresses of some more sheriff's departments, fruits, some more television stations, some more newspapers, um, and then every day you can continue to be the total assholes that you are and i'm going to continue being the american citizen that i am see i spent some time just thinking about you now um you issued uh, a protection order right on July 31st of 2015, that was filed with the Clown County Clerk, yes, Barbara Christensen, at 2.21 p.m., right. You added the word superior to the Court of Washington, the order for protection, yes. Now, this was for Clown County. Mm -hmm. You put Heidi Budnick's name as the petitioner, yes, and her birth date, and then you named me as the respondent and my birth date. You did not put the court's address. No. You put this number where the address goes instead of putting it where the number goes. Yes. You did not put the court's telephone number. Now there's what's known as the names of the minors. Mm -hmm. And that would be the first, middle, and last name and their ages. Uh-huh. There's Zachary James Budnick, and he was 13, year old, 13 years old at that time. Yeah. Then there's Bishop Thomas Budnick, and he was 12 years old. Yes. Deacon King Budnick, he was 11 years old. Maximilian Johann Budnick, he was 8. <laughs> and Benjamin Graham Budnick, he was 4. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I'm a male, a man. Yes. And my race is Caucasian, yes, and maybe misspelled, maybe not. My hair is light brown, though it's gray now, right. I'm 10 feet tall, no, 6 feet tall, yes. I weigh 255 pounds, and I have hazel eyes. Mm. 
Now, I want you to understand something, Sheriff. You took my five sons. You kidnapped them. And as a father, I am going to refuse to acknowledge your right to take children without any due process. I'm going to continue to inform you what the law says. Do you understand that if I'm not able to rent a room, I'm going to end up in the homeless shelter? I will continue to sell cigarettes and live a homeless life until you enforce the fucking law. Because you took my sons without any due process. Now, I really thought about it. What do I have to do as a 48-year-old man? I mean, what real obligations do I have that I have to do every day? I don't really have to get a job. And I've explained that to you. Yes. You thought that it was a complete waste of time and my personal life to send two million emails as if being a father was a total waste of time. Yes. But as a father, I have a first priority. The priority is my five sons. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure the sheriff's department right now understands that I have nothing else to do in life but to get my sons. There is nothing else that I have any obligation to do except for get my sons. So for every individual in law enforcement that thought that it was crazy, mentally ill, <clears throat> a mental defect to not realize that as a fucking father, I will spend every day of my life in <laughs>